Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Bird Song. I have an art journal that I just finished today and I wanted to share that. It's made in sort of the messy style that I like as far as the cover. It's a piece of file folder that has been covered with fabric on the front and the back. And then I sew in the signatures with a sewing machine always making sure I have an even number so that it sort of balances out and I can start from the center signature and then sew out in one direction, flip it, and then sew the other side, if that makes sense. Uh, so often we see old photographs in thrift stores and sometimes it is puzzling to know what to do with these photographs. You know, these people are not our family and yet if you're like me, you feel drawn into these pictures you ask who were they, where did they live, when did they live, uh, what did they endure in their lifetimes. I got inspired to use some of the old photographs in my stash when I decided to try and make a little booklet with these index tabs. And I put the tabs, I, I oriented them or orientated them so that when I put them in the book, they would stay in order. This whole process made me look at the old photographs I have in my collection in a totally different light. So I don't know the names of any of these people in these old photographs for the most part, you know, unless it's written on the back, but I started trying to pull adjectives or verbs or words that I could use to describe a photograph A through J. And I just wrote with a Sharpie on this fabric for the inside front, some of the people I never knew. And this evolved as I started working with it and kept going, it just became more and more uh, clear what I needed to do with the book. And I think that's the way art is sometimes. I think if we just get started, um, the, the journey sort of opens up as to what it should be. You can tell there's an old book cover that very, very falling apart. The corner is off here. And what I did was just glue that onto the front. And then when it had dried, I went back with the sewing machine. And by the way, I had glued this photograph on the front as well. This is not an actual old photograph, but rather a reproduction of an old photograph. So that's why it is a little bit glossy. And it was that way when I bought it. Uh, so once the glue had dried, I went back with my sewing machine and just put stitches in to really make sure that cover stays in place on the front and the back. And then I took some petals from an artificial flower and just sewed those around this corner. So getting inside, let's look at some of these fun pictures. For A, I called her Apron Woman because she's got an apron on and just a picture glued into place. You can tell there's a little bit of pretty scrapbook paper underneath there. Uh, bits and pieces. Uh, I love to use the butterfly die cuts. This is Boat Girl. You can see in that old photograph, she looks like she is driving a boat. And who knows when this was. It's kind of exciting to think about that. I did some stenciling with a stencil I purchased recently and just some pink Delusions paint. And you can see where I've done some handwriting. There's some masking tape to cover up the wrong side of the staples or the sharp side. I like to try to cover those up if I can, but I love using staples because I love that extra layer of texture. Uh, C is for children. We have these uh, children. They look like they're probably from the 60s maybe, 50s or 60s, maybe even 40s. I'm trying to remember what that what the actual photograph paper looked like. So yeah, maybe maybe even the 40s. Another butterfly die cut. And then here we have Dad and Robin. I've got a little bit of this mica that you sent to me on the page. You can see the glue is still wet under there. Uh, Robin, who sometimes comments here, sent me some raw mica just right, I think right off the ground and uh, it peels in layers, you can see that. So I'm gonna put that piece to the side. I think it's really neat though. I may come back and add some more glue. I've not used it until today and I thought, well, you know, a dad, I, I associate the mica, I guess, more with a male perspective because 
you usually get it from mining. And I have a cousin who got into, um, he's not a miner per se, but he got into the geology of that and worked with mica in some capacity. So E is for eyes. This came from a beautiful large photograph, much too large to use. I mean, it was like an eight by 10. And don't be afraid to cut old photographs up. If they're in the thrift store and they have no name on them, I mean, they're obviously just kind of put out into the universe at that point. So I don't worry too much about cutting them up when they're, you know, not something historical or precious or something that I feel like could be given to a foundation or a family or something like that. So F is for the family. And we have three family members and the dog out on the front step. Love this house. It looks like probably a ranch house that was built maybe in the 60s or 70s. Not sure about that, but I do like that a lot. Butterfly die cut. And there is a little page from, I believe, some Shakespearean sonnets. I just tore that out. And then there's a little piece of fabric from some Tim Holtz uh, design fabric. And then G is for girl. I've got girl, certified vintage. And I stamped the word vintage up here. More Tim Holtz fabric. And then that is a a transfer image I did with my jelly plate. And I've been trying to use up some of these papers that I made with the gel plate. And this was perfect for this black and white. Here's another old photograph. I bought this one the same time that I bought this one. So I feel like these girls maybe were out having fun. Uh, I don't, that could even be the same girl. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, but H is for the hitchhiker. And we have an ink stamp and just a piece of scrapbook paper, an old postage stamp. I love these tickets. I'm going to be including some of these in the next fun packs that go out. Really pretty, that pink and then the crown. So I is for indignant. He looks pretty indignant. It was actually a large photograph of a family and everybody was smiling and looked very pleasant except for him. And I was thinking, why has he got his arms crossed and such a look on his face? He didn't look happy at all to be in the photograph. Uh, and then an ink stamp and I typed the word chill here. And then we have J for jump. And it looks like perhaps a paratrooper from the 40s. I just stamped a slash 44 here. So, and then I stamped the word fly over here and we have the butterflies. And then that's a really pretty piece of, uh, it came from a piece of wallpaper. I'm including some of this in the next fun kit too. It's really beautiful wallpaper. Um, there's my birdsong stamp that has been glued into place, but then you can see these stitches on the back kind of caught the bottom of that. So that's the latest art journal. We've got an old skeleton key here, and I don't know, I just really like it. It's just basically a lot of gluing and layering and some painting and stamping, but just get started. If, if you wanna make something, you don't even have to be a, an expert seamstress. I know I'm not. Um, just start taping pages down. You know, you can tape them in such a way that they will flip like this on another piece of paper. Start gluing images down. Challenge yourself with certain letters and use old photographs. Just see what you come up with. Well, I am off for now. I have to go run some errands. I have to pick up a prescription. I'm going to see my daughter for a few minutes, and I hope everyone is having a really good day. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Bye for now.